Hello? Hey, Crystal. I know you got a client, girl, so I'm going to make this quick. Your check from the studio downtown did not go through. Huh? That's impossible. That's what I said. I just did payroll yesterday, and we had enough in the account. There's $3,000 unaccounted for for today. What did you purchase? $3,000? I didn't purchase anything, Janine. If you didn't, then who did? Who else has access to your business account? Only you and Jamal. He said he was sending me money for my vendors. Well, he withdrew instead of depositing. I think you should talk to him, girl. Janine, I'm going to call you back. I think my client is here. Please call me back. We need to make a payment to the studio or we're going to lose it. Hey. Hey. Thank you for booking me last minute. No problem. Typically don't do squeeze ins, but I have some time. Wow. This place is really nice. Thank you. You can sit right here in this chair. I'm gonna finish prepping your hair. No problem. My man bought me that hair and told me to get it done. He paid for all my gifts and this install. I swear this man is everything. That is so sweet. I need to be more man like that in this world. Hey baby, I'm at my hair appointment. Hey beautiful, you like your gifts? I loved them. I'm about to get my hair done, but I'm still meeting you at the hotel afterwards, right? Jamal, you really showed out for me today. Thank you so much. I love you. Um, Jamal who? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking to my man. Is his name Jamal, right? Hey, baby, who's that? Jamal, it's Crystal. Jamal, tell her we're together. Deja, you booked an appointment with my girl Crystal, you tried me. No, tell the truth, Jamal. We've been seeing each other for several months and He's been showering me with gifts. You've been stealing money out of my business account for this girl, Jamal? What is wrong with you? Wow. He hung up. Anywho, I have things to do today, so can we speed this appointment up? Did he get you this wig? Yes, girl. He gave me everything from that wig to this new bag. Jamal is my man, sweetie. Get out of my house. I will not be servicing you. Excuse me? I paid my deposit. I need my hair done. All money ain't good money. Get out of my house, and you will not be getting this deposit back or this wig, because I'm pretty sure he used my money to pay for it. I can't be seen walking around looking like this. Oh, but you could be seen walking around with somebody else's man? Girl, please, leave my house. <laughs> you know what? I see why he chose me and not you. You're still doing hair appointments at your house, boo-boo. Meanwhile, he put me in a condo downtown. I don't care. You can have him. Get out! <laughs> you know what? I am going to write the most horrible review on you. Just Leave watch. my house. Janine, I found out what happened to the money. Talk to me. What? What's going on? Are you okay? <laughs> Jamal, he stole from me. He's been using it to finance his side chick. And she booked an appointment with me knowing who I was. And she had him on the phone. What? Girl, you say the word and I can have him served for theft. We're gonna get your money back. Girl, I promise. <laughs> Why would he do this to me? He know how hard I've been working for my shop. <laughs> God don't like ugly, honey. He's going to get his. Don't worry. Hey, 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 hey. 
All right, listen. So I know you ladies all in here looking good and it's hard work to do that. So I got something for y'all. I got candy for sale. I got Sour Patches for a dollar. I got Gummy Bears for a dollar. Listen, I got Twix in the car. I got Snickers in the car. I got cookies, anything you want. Who want to buy something? I'm sorry, but um, you can't be in here with that. Oh, come on, girl. I'm out here trying to make a living. I ain't out here causing harm to nobody. Jamal, I knew I smelled trash. Get out of the shop. You are trespassing. Whoa, whoa, wait, how do you know me? Because Janine has been my assistant for years. Oh, Crystal? Wow, girl, you look amazing. And you're harassing my clients. You can't sell candy here, Jamal. Wait a minute, this is your spot? Yo, this spot is fancy. I am so proud of you. Yeah, it's my third shop in the city. You know what? And you deserve it. Listen. I want to apologize to you for how things went down in the past. Um, I hurt you and I was an idiot for that and I stole from you and that wasn't the right thing to do. So I'm truly sorry. Thank you, but we don't have to settle this in court. I got my money and you got away from me. So we both won. I ended up selling the condo and the car just to pay you back. And I'm out here selling candy on these streets. Do you expect me to feel bad for you? The car and the condo were in my name. You used my business for those lavish things. I know, and I'm truly, truly sorry. Can you please find it in your heart to forgive me? I already forgave you a long time ago. Okay. And I needed to for myself, because I have dreams that I need to accomplish. And I can't let anybody get in between that. I understand. Um, well, you look amazing, and again, I'm so proud of you. Crystal, we have a meeting in 10 minutes, just letting you know. Okay. Crystal, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, Crystal. I know that I'm the last person that you'd want to do any favors for. I know I'm the last person that should be asking you for anything. But do you know of anybody that's hiring, anybody that has any jobs open that I can, that I can go get some work? No, she don't, Jamal. She don't. Janine, don't be rude. That's okay. Actually, I do. Oh, thank you. How much candy can you get? My cousin still works at the corner store down the street. When there's an overage of candy, he gives it to me so I can get anything I want. Okay. Well, my friend has a vending machine business. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just going. And he's looking for a few guys to help supply goods for his needs. Pays about 5000 a week if you can keep up. What can I keep up? Absolutely. Hey, thank you so much for this. I really appreciate it. Come back to the shop tomorrow at 9 a.m. And he'll yes. be here to set up the vending machine for my new lash line. I'm here. I will see you in the morning. Thank you so much, Crystal. I really needed this. Even though... We've had our differences. You were the one that talked me into getting the shop in the first place. So, just return the favor. Ooh, I appreciate it. I will be here at 9 a.m. tomorrow sharp. I promise, Crystal, you will not regret this. See you tomorrow. I'm gonna take my candy too, all right? <laughs> Why are you even helping him? He stole from you. He humiliated you. Ugh. Janine, we all deserve a second chance at a fresh start. I don't want to be with him again, but if there's any way I can help, I will. You know, you always had a big heart. That's why you're going to be at the top, girl. No, we are going to the top. You've always been by my side. Just know, I haven't forgotten about how much you've done for me. So let's go get ready for this meeting. Girl, stop. You're about to make me tear up and ruin my makeup. Come on, let's go. The moral of the story is to remember to always treat others how you want to be treated. Because when the tables turn, you want to be on the right side of karma.